Welcome everyone, in front of me I have the Apple Lightning 2 3.5mm headphone jack adapter. So I'm going to be unboxing it and testing it on the AirPods Max. So of course this will work on the AirPods Max and if you would like to get one yourself I will have a direct to buy link in the description down below. And so I think first of all let's unbox it. So what we need to do is remove this wrapping here and okay seems like I'm going to have to So there's no actual clear way to open it, I just create a hole in the packaging. And you can see, here we are. It does have a weird barcode on top. This was from Amazon, by the way. And so this seems to just pop out. I don't know, guys, isn't there meant to be uh, some tape here? I, I bet this is used. Oh, I did buy used, yeah, I did buy used. That's the reason why, because this was actually quite expensive. So you can see, here is the cable right here. It looks perfectly fine. The reason why I didn't buy new is because, you know, it was really expensive new. So I was like, let's just buy you. So let's just take a look at the cable length. And oh my God, this is more than long enough. This is 1.2 meters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my AirPods Max and I'm going to put them in my ears. We'll take a look at how things are. So let me just pause the video that's currently playing. This around so you can see, this is how I look. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this and let's see how this is put on. So first of all, white cable, and then you got the black headphones. So I actually can't really see, but here we go. You can see, here it is. We just plug this in like so. Boom. Interesting. So second I plug this in, the Bluetooth has stopped working because this was connected and it was playing music and I can hear that music out loud. So what I'm gonna do now is I just wanna see how the audio quality is and see if it's like any better. So I'm just gonna plug this in. Right, so I have it connected, and first of all, you can see this is the left one, this is the right one. And the cable actually comes from the right one, which isn't normal for most, like, headphones. So this Hyper X one, and it usually comes off of the left one. So that's, uh, that's I mean, that's whatever. It really depends where the headphone jack is, if it's on the right-hand side or the left-hand side of your device. And second of all, yeah, okay, the cable, it doesn't really look right. You can see here, like, you have a black headphones and white cable. Of course, if you bought the white headphones, then obviously that's going to be a different story. So I'll plug them in. I'm just gonna put them over my ears. I'm just gonna press, okay, I pressed the wrong button. Press play. Okay, interesting. So, first thing is usually when you're connected wirelessly, you can actually press the play button and it'll play stuff. When you're connected with the wire, you cannot do that. And let's try Siri as well. So I just activate Siri. Siri doesn't work either. So uh, you can't you know, play music with this. You can't hold this down to activate Siri. Let's test the audio. So I'm going to use the ring here to increase. Okay, so you can increase the audio using the slider. And the most important part is the noise cancellation and the transparency near the off mode. These all work. So what I'm assuming is this is actually running off of the cable here itself. I mean, I hope it is because I don't see any you know, notification or battery uh, going down on my MacBook. And the MacBook is able to track the battery of these AirPods Max. So everything runs. Directly from the wire, which is great, because you never know, like, if you plan on using this for a long time, five years, ten years, because the audio quality is really good in these, you know, eventually, you know, the, the, the Bluetooth isn't going to last long, therefore, having this is actually pretty cool. Having the wire, this is obviously going to work on devices which don't support Bluetooth, like Nintendo Switch, you know, Xbox, and you have the AirPod Max right here. Let's test that like, the audio quality real quick, so let us play. I have to spend a bit more time with it to probably tell but let's just keep it real here bluetooth is going to have a limit on you know the you know the frequencies that you're going to be able to because we're with a wire the audio quality you know the maximum you get available should be better uh, compared to without i'm just going to do a couple more tests like the microphone and stuff like that and i'll report back all right so i plugged these guys in and i tested if you know if i could see a mic inside of obs and i could not see a mic inside of obs so what i will do is I will, because I actually use these, and I'm probably gonna use these on my uh, Xbox, So I just got this cable today. I will update you guys via the comment section for whether or not you can use this as a mic on like your Xbox or on your Mac and stuff like that, because I will try and get this to work, because I want these to be my main headsets for gaming. And of course, if I can't use a mic, then it's obviously gonna be a bit of an issue. So I will keep you guys informed. So all I'm gonna say is just check the comment section and I will update you guys with that. But overall, I mean, this this works, and I'm quite happy with it because at the end of the day, over time, you know, the Bluetooth isn't going to last anywhere near as long. My Apple Pros last half the battery it used to. 
uh, two years ago. I've had them since the pre-launch, and this is the reason why I bought these uh, headphones in the first place. And the best part is you can run the transparency mode and the noise cancelling mode directly from you know the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And I mean, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's really all you need to hear. So literally. And uh, with that being said, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you're going to get an adapter. The link is in the description. Bye bye.